welcome back. We have been joined on set this time around by Miss Universe Belize, Janelle Fraser. And as we mentioned, we're going to be discussing all the preparations that she has had to make in terms of going to Thailand to represent Belize. Good morning, Janelle. Good morning. How are you guys? We are great. It's great to have you here. Thank and you I, for I'm having me. I'm so excited to have you and I'm only trying to imagine <laughs> the excitement that you're having. You leave on Thursday. That's right. That's and right. Uh, it is the official start of uh, the journey. competition mm -hmm. for Miss Universe. Yes. Okay. Generally, we have a lot to catch up on. <laughs> That's fine. So first of all, I want to say you look great. Thank you. Um, we know you've been doing quite a bit in getting ready. Uh, for the pageant. So tell us, what, what have you been up to since officially being crowned Miss Universe Belize? Well, since I won, uh, I traveled to the United States where I met with my organization who's there in Los Angeles. And they had some great events lined up for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the photo shoot that you see here. Mm -hmm. And I got to meet Steve Harvey, oh. who is the official host for Miss Universe. Yes. I also visited the Miss Universe organization in New York, where I got a little bit of insight, um, what they're expecting and, you know, how I should be. So it's been going great. You also met the reigning Miss Universe, right? I did. Yes. I did. That was very exciting for me because I think a lot of contestants, they were trying to meet her and because of her busy schedule, yeah. she couldn't. And um, lucky for me, I think the, sta the stars were aligned and I got to meet her. So you have to tell us what that was like, but did you ask her some inside scoop? I did. Surprisingly, I had no idea that she was short <laughs> because you always uh, feel that the pageant girls are very, very tall and she was pretty laid back. Uh, she encouraged me to be myself. I think that is the most important. And uh, coming from South Africa, because that's where she's from, yeah. it's almost like coming from Belize where you're not known so much for pageantry and yeah. so she had to really stand out. And, and by standing out, she said she was herself, yeah. so. Yeah. Now, how does one prepare uh, in such a short time for this international pageant? I think it really, uh, you have to mentally prepare. Once your mind is set, it doesn't matter if you have a week or if you have years. Mm -hmm. As long as you know you have a goal, um, you'll do what it takes. I'm just amazed that, that a young woman can go through this journey. It's, it's sort of, in a sense, finding the inner strength and courage yes. to be able to face yes. um, yeah. this challenge. I, I, I know that they're not male pageants. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's, yes. it's there's a, Mr. Yeah? Belize. Yes. Well, <laughs> we'll sign you up. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like, in terms of, you know, young, young girls, they become young women. And some of them have this dream of, of you know, representing the country or, right. or whatever it is that has to do with pageantry. And then going through this entire process of preparing and then you go on the stage on that one night and you lay it bare for everyone to see you leave nothing on, you know. You mentioned earlier that, you know, you're a bit nervous, you, you, you know, there's that, that sense of the butterflies and what have you. Have you been able to you know, perhaps talk yourself out of, you know, that, that jittery feeling? I think even um, people who have been doing this for years, mm -hmm. they still mm -hmm. get very nervous. But uh, I think you have to find ways how to deal with those nerves. And I think um, one of the things that I try to do is I breathe. I try to breathe <laughs> to relax um, before an interview interviewer before I go on stage and yeah. I, I really try to get into that mind frame that this is it yeah. it's now or never now you know I can recall what was it about six months ago where uh, we first met you right. along with all the other delegates mm -hmm. who were vying for Miss Universe Belize and you definitely stood out as one of the outspoken girls in the bunch um, and represented yourself well there's a vision you had uh, I think right. it was June uh, yes. yes. And there is the reality of what it is now. How does it compare? How does it compare? Um, well, for me, I think I, I already knew what I wanted. And I think I really 
tried my best and I knew even if I did not come out you know successful that I had tried my best and I would have hoped that Belize saw that yeah. so I think that's that's basically what I had to do I spoke yeah. to myself and I, and the perception right. of wearing the crown versus the reality of wearing the crown the perception um I felt that I knew it was going to be hard, but the reality is once you wear the crown, it becomes a job mm -hmm. and it is a lot harder than you think. It's not about taking pictures. You mm -hmm. really need to get out there and you have to do community service. You have to uh, educate yourself on issues that are happening. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure that you're mentally and physically prepared. So it definitely is a job. So. Yeah. The, the perception and the reality is a little bit different. Okay. How has that helped you to be able to grow as a young woman? It definitely helped me to grow because I think I had to, I learned a lot of things, especially I had to learn myself mm -hmm. and I had to practice a little more patience. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think it just showed me that no matter what you set your mind to do, you can do it mm -hmm. and so um i think it really really helped me to become a better person yeah mm -hmm. so uh, your practice i i believe it includes uh, of course exercise you mm -hmm. know that's an important part of it uh you spoke of mentally getting yourself prepared as well what what does that entail well i i spoke about in the past about being shy mm -hmm. and not liking the public so much uh -huh. and so every time i go I have to tell myself, okay, so people are going to come to you. People are going to ask you questions because mm -hmm. they want to know. It's only natural. So I just have to, like I said, speak to myself and get mentally prepared. And then, of course, um, getting on stage with people who have experience, uh, some of them from young, from yeah. almost childbirth, you know. Yeah. Um, I have to compete with them. So I have to tell myself that, no matter what, you're still equivalent to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. the type of mind frame that I try to set myself in. Now, we know when it comes to pageants, people check out that question and answer <laughs> yeah. session. Yeah. And we are not very forgiving of the fact mm -hmm. that there are a lot of nerves at mm -hmm. that moment. And we just want to hear uh, whoever is representing us nail mm -hmm. that answer. Talk to me about how do you prepare. I mean, that, that has to right. be a very overwhelming uh, thought. One of the things that I did when I went to Los Angeles, um, my director, Romeo, we did uh, a session, two yeah. sessions with two past Miss USA's. Okay. Uh, they won, and they also went to Miss Universe, and they were very successful at Miss mm -hmm. Universe. Um, and they spoke to me about interviews, and I do believe one of them was actually a judge. Mm -hmm. And so Ooh. she knows what the judges are looking for mm -hmm. and one of the things she mentioned was even if you don't know what you're saying you have to have confidence and make people mm -hmm. believe that you know yeah. what you're saying so um i definitely took that to heart yeah and they also told me to look at videos online and just practice and be confident yeah mm -hmm. i think building that confidence has got to be one of the greater challenges particularly if you're someone who doesn't naturally have that right. sense of self-confidence mm -hmm. you know perhaps watching yourself in the mirror you do a little you know <laughs> the walk is yeah. also important yes. how are we doing with the walk i think i have that down <laughs> nice. Nice. is there any one particular area for instance where you believe that you would still need some work i think for me there's always room for improvement mm -hmm in every section and yeah. so once there I would know where I need to improve a little bit more yeah so yeah what are you looking forward to the most in this process what uh, hmm, that's a very good question I think just being present and uh, getting Belize recognized because it's a feeling that you can't explain when they say your country's name. Mm -hmm. And you know that everyone back home is excited, just as excited as you are. So just the feeling of um, pride, yeah. mm -hmm. I think I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
And how have things been going in, in the support that you need to get there? Belize has been very supportive, uh, even if it's not financially. Mm -hmm. I always say that I am fortunate to have people who send me messages all the time, words of en encouragement, mm -hmm. and it really helps me a lot. And there are companies who have reached out to the organization and myself, um, trying to help getting me to Thailand. Yeah. So it's, it's been good. What has been the support from your immediate circle, your family and friends and those who are in your corner? It's been great. <laughs> they always say, you know what, Jen, you were born a winner and we know that you'll do well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll place and you'll even win. So um, they've been very, very supportive of me and yeah. this entire journey. Yeah. I, you know, I could imagine, when you said that, there's something that flashed into my mind. I think every representative that I've interviewed on, on the set, uh, people will only see the pretty face, mm -hmm. and they'll say, oh, that's why she won. Mm -hmm. But in conversations, you realize that there is a drive, mm -hmm. an inner determination that goes beyond the makeup that right. you flawlessly wear. Uh, tell me how that has helped you. Um, and the moments that it was most critical, that it wasn't just about being a pretty face, it was about being a woman who was determined to push forward. I think from the start, that was my goal. Mm -hmm. I always spoke about body image and mm -hmm. um, not being just the pretty face because beauty, it fades. You could walk outside and something happens to you and the face leaves yeah. and then you're, you're left with a body and just that. So you need to have substance. So. Um, I've tried my best to really show people that I'm more than just a pretty face. Mm -hmm. I am someone uh, with a drive, like you said, and I'm really trying my best to get Belize recognized for the talent, um, not just in pageantry, but in everything, in, um, in our tourism industry, mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. And if we talk about uh, your platform, you know, that's also something that, mm -hmm. that you're asked about at the pageant. What is Janelle's platform going into Miss Universe? Besides uh, being confidently beautiful mm -hmm. and not being just a stick figure because we're all born with different shapes. Mm -hmm. my, my drive and one of the reasons why I really wanted to do this was to be a voice. Mm -hmm. And I still stick to my platforms about mental health mm -hmm. as well as the gender-based issues that we face every single day. Yeah. So I, I really, after Thailand, I really want to get into the movement and try to bring, create more awareness mm -hmm. for, these, for these issues. Nice. And uh, as we said before, you are leaving on Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, and so it means that you start with some of the preliminary um, competition before. Mm -hmm. uh, you've looked at your schedule. You know what to expect. Uh, tell us a little bit of what, what the next few weeks will be like for you. Okay, so I leave on Thursday. I'm not going to Thailand just yet. Mm -hmm. I go to LA where I will be doing a fitting for my evening gong. So oh. that's exciting. And then I leave for Thailand on the 28th okay. of November. Mm -hmm. And there the competition begins when I step off the plane. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have dinners. I'm pretty sure we'll have uh, community service, we'll have auctions where the national gift mm -hmm. will be um, seen for the first time. Um, so I think it's two weeks of uh, pure excitement and really uh, meaningful events. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what color is the evening gown going to be? Do we get a sneak peek? <laughs> or we just have to wait and see? I like surprises. <laughs> I, I know the color of the dress now, yeah. um, but I like surprises and I like to see the reaction of people okay. when you step out on that stage. So. And what about the national costume? Well, that's not a secret because if you guys remember, yeah. there was a voting for uh, three different yeah, designs, designs. And the one that was chosen was the uh, jade head. Yeah. So David and Roberta from Titans they have been working on it, and I do believe it should be completed by tonight. Mm -hmm. um, I got a, a glimpse of what it looks like, and it's going to be good. Mm. It's going to be good. It's right. green. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one secret out. Yeah. It's green. Yeah. yeah. With the jade head. I'm yeah. sure there's a lot of people you want to thank and, and kind of just say, you know, uh, who've been supporting you along the way. 
I, it's a long list. Yeah. It would be like a Christmas list, but I honestly want to say thank you to every single person who have dedicated time and effort from the start, because uh, if I didn't have support from the start, then I wouldn't be here with the crown. So I just want to extend a thank you to Belize as well for being behind me. I, I'm pretty sure that I gained your love and support, and I'm looking forward to representing each and every single one of you. Oh. Well said. <laughs> All right. So following your progress to Thailand or in Thailand, uh, people, you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So people can see all the behind the scenes there. You'll keep us updated. Yes. And besides my page, there's also the Miss Universe Belize page mm -hmm. run by my director. So he'll be updating Belize as well. So make sure that you guys tune in. Mm -hmm. uh, you won't be disappointed. Okay. <laughs> well, Janelle, thank you so much for coming in and sharing uh, a little bit of what you've been doing. We know you've been working hard. And of course, uh, once you step, once you put on that sash, you represent all of us. Right. And so we can't wait to see you on stage. Best of luck. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We're going to go ahead now and take a break. And when we come back, it's the International Children's Day. And we'll be talking about a brand new video that is uh, being released by the Child Advisory Body in Bamupan. So stay tuned.